All right, well, let's take a look at this heart model here. If you'll take a look at this, this is how it should be. And this will be your right oracle. This will be your left oracle. So if you go in here and open this up, that is your right atrium. And the purpose of the oracle is basically it's made up of pectinate muscle that allows for the atrium to expand and fill up with more blood here. If you look at this, and this is the superior vena cava that will empty deoxygenated blood from the head and upper extremities. You also have the inferior vena cava right here that will drain deoxygenated blood from the lower extremities. What you have is the right atrium right here. And deoxygenated blood will go from the right atrium through the first valve, which is the right atrioventricular valve or AV valve, also known as the tricuspid valve. And then blood will go into the right ventricle. Now, if you see these little guys right here, these are chordae tendinae, and they're attached to something called the papillary muscle. And what the purpose of that is to so the valve doesn't fold in on itself there, it anchors it down. You also have these little grooves called trabeculae carinae, which are responsible for that contraction. Just like the oracles had pectinate muscle, the ventricles have this trabeculae carinae. Okay. Then what's going to happen is we're going to pump blood from the right ventricle through this pulmonary semilunar valve and it's going to go through the pulmonary trunk and the pulmonary artery. Now the funny thing about the heart is that whenever we think of arteries we always think oxygenated blood but in the heart it's the opposite a little bit so pulmonary arteries in the heart carry deoxygenated blood. Once it goes to the lungs, it's going to do its thing and the lungs are going to oxygenate. They're going to do gas exchange and then the carbon dioxide will get exchanged for oxygen. And then what's going to happen is they're going to return blood via the pulmonary veins right here. Okay, so pulmonary veins and in the heart, the veins are red. So that's a little tricky, but uh, you guys are smart. You can figure it out. Okay, and then it's going to come back into the left atrium here. And the left atrium now has nice red blood or oxygenated blood. It's gonna go through this valve, which is the left AV valve, left bicuspid valve or left mitral valve. Still has the chordae tendine, the papillary muscles. The left ventricle is much thicker because it has to pump blood all the way to the body and it's going to go through this aortic semilunar valve and then it's going to go through this ascending aorta aortic arch and then through the thoracic aorta and abdominal aorta now before we end the heart we do want to talk about the heartbeat and the valves and so your heart makes a sound called the lub dub lub dub and the heartbeat is caused by the closing the closing of the atrioventricular valve, that's S1, that will be the lub, and the closing of the semilunar valves, the pulmonary and the aortic, is S2. So that's why you'll get the lub-dub, lub-dub. It's the closing of the valves that causes that.